A very safe and good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 25th March. On the front page you have Prime Minister announces 21 day lockdown as COVID-19 toll touches 10. So government has allotted 15,000 crore to beef up infrastructure for treatment of patients. So during the containment period of 21 days beginning 25th March, following services will remain open and following will be closed, you can see. Shops dealing with food, groceries, fruits and vegetables, dairy products, meat and fish and animal fodder including ration shops will remain open. Banks, insurance offices, ATMs, even print and electronic media, telecom services, delivery of food, pharmaceuticals, medical equipment, through e-commerce will remain open. Even petrol pump, LPG, gas, etc. power, electricity services will remain open. Even capital and debt markets notified by CAB would remain open. Cold storage and warehousing would remain open. Private security services would also remain open. What will be closed is Government of India and state offices, commercial, private establishments and transport services as such. Educational institutions would remain closed. Places of worship would remain closed. Functions and gatherings without exception would remain closed. Even funerals, not more than 20 people will be permitted. And violet, violators will be liable for legal action under IPC Section 88. Also, you can see other offices which would remain open are defense, police, treasury, public utilities, disaster management, home guards, etc. Electricity, water sanitation, all medical establishments will be open. Production units of essential commodities, hotels, lodges which accommodate tourists and stranded persons, emergency staff will also remain open. Then you can see in a major development, Pune based MyLab has developed first indigenous, uh, has become the first indigenous manufacturer to be approved for deploying its kits for COVID-19 testing. This is MyLab, Pune based company. Then here you also have, government extends tax deadline to June 30. So deadline for filing income tax and GST returns has been extended to 30th June as part of relaxation of financial year end compliance as has been announced by finance minister nirmala sitharaman then below you have omar abdullah released after 232 days in detention so former chief minister and national conference vice president omar abdullah was released from srinagar sub jail after 232 days and uh, it demanded the release of other detainees in jammu and kashmir too and called for a joint fight against COVID-19. So since August 5, he had been detained. The day the central government took the decision to revoke special status of Jammu and Kashmir and now finally he has been released. He turned 50 in jail on March 10. Then this is Tokyo Olympics moved to 2021 over virus care. So the 2020 Tokyo Olympics originally scheduled to be held from, from 24th July to August 9th has been postponed to 2021. The first such delay in the Olympic Games, you know, in, in its 124 year modern history. And this is due to COVID-19. On the editorial page, the first editorial is the reign of Shivraj. So this is regarding BJP government in Madhya Pradesh uh, as such, which has been formed now under new, new chief minister, Shivraj Singh Johan. So the BJP government will have to manage the changed political dynamics in Madhya Pradesh. Now. He has been sworn in as chief minister. He has proved his majority in the assembly too. This is his fourth term as chief minister now. After three consecutive terms, he had lost the elections in 2018. And now he has the support of 112 MLAs for the trust vote. But then you can see that uh, uh, changing of party has been done by various Congress members led by uh, Jyotiraditya Skindia. So the change dynamics has to be taken care of is what is being stated here. And this is death by fireworks. So this is regarding unsafe working conditions and improper handling of inflammable raw materials. They continue to endanger lives in fireworks industry. And last week, 11 workers were charred as firework unit in Tamil Nadu's Virudhu Nagar actually saw fire. And the lead article is ironing out wrinkles in India's pandemic response. 
so this article talks about how there are some critical weaknesses in the country's health system which can come in the way of a credible strategy to combat covid 19 so these critical weaknesses are the hospital capacity healthcare workers which are critical resource they have to be adequate state to state coordination which is lacking and safety of healthcare workers is also essential And here you have in riot aftermath, it scorched healthcare too. So, Northeast Delhi shows population losing trust in the care system as such and, uh, and can affect healthcare indicators as well. So, after the riots, you can see healthcare conditions in Northeast Delhi, uh, which is the most underdeveloped, underdeveloped region of Delhi and is marked by all socioeconomic, uh, socio demographic determinants of poor health outcomes. A significant proportion of the population here is from the migrant and minority communities and there is high rate of illiteracy, unemployment and poverty, Overcry overcrowding, unsanitary conditions and the healthcare infrastructure is almost non-existent. Then on opet page you have the race to find a cure for COVID-19. So, this article says that while efforts to develop an anti-COVID-19 vaccine are encouraging, safety issues are paramount. So, whenever a new, uh, new product or new molecule as such is developed, that it needs to be tested, clinical trials are important. So, safety issues are also paramount is what is being stated. Controlled randomized trials have to take place. Then this is about how de uh, delivery workers are now frontline force keeping citizens lives running. <clears throat> On international page you have US could become virus epicenter World Health Organization and President Donald Trump says he wants to reopen the country for business in weeks not months. UK has also enforced lockdown now. then here you have loss of smell in some cases so experts say that loss of smell is also being seen in some cases which might be a new way to detect covid 19 it is called anosmia abrupt loss of smell even some have developed loss of olfactory senses like could not taste food you know loss of taste loss of smell so these are being stated as signs some of the signs of COVID-19. Otherwise, people would otherwise appear there. Well. Then on business page, you have finance ministry would take some decisions. Task force has not been constituted, but multi-layered subgroups are holding consultations. So there's no announcement yet but it, announcement is expected so that is it these are the important headlines this is regarding bpcl disinvestment which is an old news but how the saudi decision aramco is the the world is actually the world's largest oil firm saudi arabia is aramco so its decision to cut its capital expenditure by 10 billion dollars is likely to hurt disinvestment in bpcl which government has plans for and also, uh, it's the plan to buy 20% stake in Reliance Industries, oil to chemicals business. So, that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website, asha.com. Thank you.